Hey guys, thanks for joining today. Um, we're going to do a chaos style Dutch pour, kind of experimenting a little bit. I uh, will go over everything and all the colors as we're pouring. Okay, so we're going to start with some sockeye pigment by this little piggy. And I'm just going to throw it down. So there's this is um, 24 by 12 inch deep edge canvas and I poured I, a couple weeks ago on it and just scraped it so it's dry, there's nothing on it. And you guys want to see how I mix my pigments and my acrylic paint for this style uh, Dutch pour or acrylic pour, whatever you want to call it. Check the video description for a mixing video link or the end screen of this video. This is Venetian Rose by Amsterdam. Okay, we're just gonna throw that down there. And then we have some iridescent gold deep fine by golden that two there okay that out of the way and of course we have my sea glass by this little piggy gorgeous gorgeous color if you guys are going to get some tlps Definitely stick this one on the list. It's one of my favorites. And, oh, we have Light Phalo Green by Golden. This one here. Gorgeous. Okay. So, let's just... Throw some of that in. It's a very opaque color there. Now on this side, I'm going to kind of do like, I think, we're just going to kind of go for it, but I'm doing like a split base. So I have some permanent red violet by Amsterdam. And I put in the rest of this teeny tiny tube of Venetian rose in here just to kind of marry the colors. So I have that there, and then I have Zinc White by Amsterdam, which is like a mixing white. Um, it's transparent. Titanium white would be opaque. This is Zinc White. So it's a transparent white. Now, which I'm actually going to drizzle some of this in. You get kind of cool, like, transparency layers and stuff like that. I've used this a couple of times in some previous videos. Okay, so again, you guys want to see how I mix my paints and all that. I may be doing an, uh, an updated video soon, but you could check the description box under the video and you'll get all the information. Okay, my hair dryer is a travel hair dryer. I use Baby Bliss, low and high setting. It's 1200 watt, blows uh, warm air only. So I'm just going to kind of blend these colors a little bit. See how you can see how opaque that um, light phalo green is. So I'm not sure. We may have to add some more color in there just to get it to break up a little. But we'll blow it out again. So I'm going to throw this down. I'm just kind of playing, guys, today. I kind of needed one of those painting playing days. So hopefully it turns out nice. I'm gonna blow this in. Another thing I should mention is this is a this re permanent red violet is transparent. So when I add it in the Venetian rose, which is opaque, um, it's going to make this one you know a little bit more opaque than 
So that's going to help with your edges. So it won't be so transparent that, you know, you could paint them beforehand if you want, but that does kind of turn your transparent coat gives a bit of opaqueness to your transparent colors. If that makes sense, I'm probably explaining that horrible. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure these are all covered. We'll blow some of that out. Kind of far reach for me over there. But. Okay, we'll see what we get. We're just playing. Um, I'm going to blow out some petals and see if we can make something of this potential mess. <laughs> Faint, that light phthalo green is very opaque so it's kind of hasn't allowed those colors to come through let's see let me change my book because that's just annoying me so I should have used less of that maybe or put that more towards the bottom I was hoping it would kind of sell up but might have been a little bit too thick I am getting some nice lacing so it is developing but I'm thinking, I really like that. Um, <clears throat> it's not too bad, I love the colors. The colors are nice. I love this. And you can see the softness of that zinc white that has kind of made this like really soft and like ghostly, it's cool. Cool effect it gives. Um, I'm debating on it. It's really pretty. I actually really like it. And the, it's, the more I'm talking, the more it's developing. So it's just taken... I'm halfway tempted to blow this out a little bit, but I don't... I think I'm going to actually leave it because A, it's still developing, and B, I think it would just... I really like it, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm actually going to leave it. It's really pretty. Um, there is one little... Let me get a paintbrush. Let me just the end of this paintbrush here. I'm just going to dip this a little bit. I don't like the little line there. So it's just kind of playing with that kind of, you know, how I do like the, pour my colors down on the dry canvas first. Um, I just wanted to put a line through like I did, pour the colors in a line like a, um, and then kind of mess with it. But yeah. We're going to leave this. Now I do know that there's going to be some gorgeous colors under there. That's why I'm halfway tempted to mess with that. But I really like the softness of this. And I don't want to lose any more of this. And if my torch was working, maybe I can get it to work. I might be able to pull some color up from there. If it doesn't, it's okay. I'm fine with it. I think it's gorgeous. So, it's different. It's different. So let's see if we can get this to work. Oh, first try. No, it wasn't the first try. Okay, so let's just torch some of this and see if we can get some of those colors coming up. And there's some like teeny tiny lacing. That's cool. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna 
torch some of these air bubbles really quick before my torch totally, because normally it doesn't work. <laughs> I'll still have to get a new one. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up so you can see this really cool ghostly with that minty, that light phthalo green. Cool color. Very soft. Good mix of color. I'm happy with it. Um, let me touch up my edges and then I'll bring you guys in. But stick around for the close up because I really want to show you what that zinc white has kind of done um, to that light phthalo green color. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so here we have it. I've turned my overhead light off just to see if you can see the colors more true. Um, okay, so here's this. I might actually, I don't really know how I feel about that little thing right there. Okay, that's all gone. Um, I want to bring you up here. I hope you can tell... The camera is being, won't focus, but I hope you can see that phthalo like green and the zinc white, how it kind of mixed there. And it's very soft. Let's go up here and see if you can see that. It's very soft and it's really pretty. Really pretty. Um, I'll show you guys this when it's dried because I'm interested to see what it's going to look like then. I'll post in the next the next video, or I'll show it to you in another video, or on my feed on YouTube. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscription button below. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload new fluid art videos. And again, if you want to see how I mix my paints, um, check the description box below or the end screen just after this video closes out. Um, I am going to stick the flash on really quick. I'll be right back. So now we have the flash on. I just want to show you guys some of the shimmer. I'm telling you, if you guys haven't got the TLPs yet and you're going to get a color, definitely stick um, this sea glass in your cart because it is gorgeous. And it looks really cool in um, resin too. So if you're doing resin, it's awesome. Okay, so let's go over here and see. You can't really tell that like, maybe you can and it's just looking weird on my phone, I don't know. It's very soft. I like that a lot. Okay guys, so there we have it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This probably won't be everybody's cup of tea. It's not bad and I'm not scraping it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.